What's up, people on the internet? I am Fapir, and I'm back with some Yakuza 5 Remastered. Um, the last time I streamed this game was back, uh, what, Saturday? I believe it was Saturday? <laughs> and, um, I streamed this game for like six freaking, seven freaking hours, and the VOD is like six hours. Holy crap. Steltech, hello, how you doing? Um... So I pre so it six hours for me to get through three chapters of the first part of uh, Kiryu Kazuma. So let me get this straight. Let me get this straight here. No 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 no. That's the that's no 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 no. I don't want the meow. How do how do I uh, Skip this. Yes. Anyway, so uh, I'm guessing Haruka wants to actually do some idol stuff, but seeing as Haruka is associated with Kiryu in some form or fashion, and Kiryu has Yakuza ties and all that stuff, I'm guessing that's why he sort of went away. And not only that, but uh, a lot of folks, a, a lot of the kids from the orphanage want to support Haruka. And they want to like, oh, we'll just skip school and start working and we'll all support Haruka. Like, no! Kiryu's like, no, we're not going to do that. You all need to go to school. So he decided to go get his, get himself a new identity so that he doesn't get involved with Haruka, which is really sad. Um, he moved to a completely different place, got himself a taxi job, and is stealthily supporting the orphanage, uh, Morning Glory or Orphanage. Which is great and all that, if it wasn't for the fact that it, it, coincidence and, or you could call it coincidence or you could call it fate, but uh, there's some Yakuza stuff going on in the very town that he's hiding his identity and trying to do some honest living to support his kids. And, uh, now he's gotten himself dragged into a mess that he can't get out of. Great! Awesome! Did I get that right? I don't know. But it's kind of messed up, really. <laughs> anyway, um, for the record, uh, I did do some taxi stuff. Well, mostly taxi stuff. I'm avoiding these. These are all... These are missions that are actually that actually I have to drive like a taxi and I'm like no 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 that's stupid This one is much better but unfortunately I need a tricked out car for that and that's a little difficult This one's a little difficult to do just a little bit difficult This one even more difficult I don't know Eh, maybe we don't need to do these. You know, it's fine. And look at the tricked out car that I have. It's like, it's almost like uh, a crazy taxi. Almost. Almost. I already got in like a fair amount of... I should probably go get my pay though, shouldn't I? First, let me go grab my pay that I did. That I, I already spent... I already got my pay before. Like halfway through, just trying to do stuff. What? So these are a lucky day. You should have some. You should have good things in store for you. Maybe try going somewhere. You could use some luck. What? What are you talking about? What do you? Huh? What do they mean by that? What do they mean by that? What does that mean? Oh, jeez. Wow, I didn't know they could fit masks that big. There you go. Boom. Boom. Ah. Hey, you. No! Why did that not work? Oh, well. <laughs> oh, 
Ay, ay, ay. Ay. Anyway. Da, 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 da. By the way, um, I know I have to say, it, so the kids need it, yeah. Is like, is there some kind of bonus for me having to do this? Or do I need to do this? Or is it like, also, who just tried to call me? Eh? Okay, unknown number. I don't know this number. Never mind that. Unknown number. Okay. Um, anyway. Let me see here. Uh, let me... Maybe I should try and look this up, I guess. Um, act as if... Five... Uh, donate to Morning Glory. <clears throat> It's actually, oh, send a total of 5 million yen for a trophy. That's it? Okay. So I don't need to give anything. <laughs> okay. Maybe not now. It's okay. So now I have a lucky fortune thing. I don't know what this means. Do I actually need to go somewhere for lucky, for luckiness? Yeah, you, you here? No. What? I'm so confused. What the frick? It's not, it doesn't appear here now all of a sudden, huh? Okay. Um, let's try this. Yeah, uh, lucky email. Eh? What mode you're in next time you go through a full loading zone? Huh? So, I'm very confused. What the? <laughs> uh, let's see. It affects fishing. Didn't get any easier. Eh. Okay, so lucky lucky emails is actually a thing. But what they do exactly is it somewhat boost luck? I don't know. It seems like they boost luck, but at the same time, I'm not even sure that's actually real. There's only one way to find out for sure if this is actually if this is actually what happens. <laughs> Hello. You're clearly a fighter. Ow. Yes, rub your head. Yeah, that's it. That's the spirit. Sorry. You should get out of my way next time. Also, I already did the garbage thing. It's already at S, and, uh... Yeah, that's nice. <laughs> that's nice, I guess. There's also a Marsh here. I noticed. Whee! I'm running through... Tr so, I don't know. I guess I could try the Pachinko thingamajiggy. Maybe that might actually get me somewhere. I don't even know how to play. How do I play? Lucky. Lucky. How does one play? How do you even play this? Is there like a lucky machine to go to? 
Because for some reason, I, I don't see any way of being able to play this. Uh, how does one play Pachinko? How? How? I don't know. No, seriously, I have no idea how. It's like the game, the game's not letting me for some reason. I don't know why. Or, for whatever reason, or it's worse is that for whatever reason, the remaster just doesn't let you. You know, that's actually a good question. I don't know if the, I don't know. Let me see here. Like, I can't, cannot talk to the staff either. So, uh, so this is the lucky parlor. Okay. Um, lucky parlor. Oh, okay. Never mind. You can't do anything in the lucky parlor because the, the, that's been disabled from the PC version. Oh, okay. Good to know. <laughs> Well, I guess I can't do anything here, sadly. Oh, well. Hopefully they removed the trophy for it, then. I don't know where else I would go to, to test my lucky email thing, I don't even know where that would work. Uh... I don't think Club Sega. Uh, karaoke? No. B. What the heck is B? I'm confused. Uh, well, none of the, none of these really work though. So, eh. So it's kind of useless then. The lucky emails are kind of useless then. I don't know. Oh, well, anyway. Um, yeah. So the yeah, how do family men wear red tracksuits all around? Some of them up get spill uh to spill Yahada's whereabouts. I know I saw a few of them while I was roaming around the city trying to uh find stuff, so they're right near um Kiryu's uh house. Our apartment thing. So might as well. So I did a lot of taxi missions, I did a lot of uh su sub quests here and there. So good, so good. Hello! You're not the red tracksuit I'm looking for. You're just an asshole. Oh man. I can never get those right. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> Boom! There you go. Ah, suckers. Anyway, it should be around here somewhere. They should be around here somewhere. Uh, do I have to go face that guy? Yeah, I got no choice. Huh? Okay. Ah! 
Whee! Okay. Bump, bump, bump. Wah! Lol. No, you! You're not calling anyone. Uh uh. Anyway. Oh, there they are. Would you mind moving, please? Thank you. Are you your hottest men? And what if we are? Who's asking? I've got business with your boss. Where can I find him? You? What would some civilian wanna? No, this guy's gotta be Tojo Clan. Hey, we got one of those Tojo pricks here. Let's bash his face in. Oh, great. Jumping into misunderstandings already. Awesome. Hello. Take a bike. And it's orange. Yay. <laughs> Boom. He dead. All. Just so you know, I'm not Tojo Clan. Just a regular civilian. Now tell me, where can I find your boss? Uh, I don't know. Haven't seen him around since yesterday. He went into HQ but never came out. Damn it. He better still be alive. Guess I'll have to find someone who knows what they're talking about. Oh, great. So that's not helpful. People in red tracksuits. It must be some kind of event. Did you saw some people wearing red tracksuits? Yeah, there's a festival going on? Hardly. They're Yakuza, so you should keep your distance. Tell me where you saw them. Yakuza? Oh my! I, w I did wonder why they look so scary, so it wasn't kid event after all. They're on the east end of, I think it's called New Street? Modern Street? Something like that. I'll figure it out, thanks. Okay. That's not it. East Messe. Okay, so Modern Street, so south. I said south. South, then turn, then take a left. Okay. Do, 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 do. I see another enemy. Hello, bonk. Alright, let's do this. Now, here's my another favorite. Ooh! Oh, that's gonna hurt. Right into the balls. Yeah. <laughs> that that Luigi wa. Oh my god, that's too funny. Okay. Anyway. Red tracksuits. Red tracksuits. Trying to find red tracksuits. Hello? Would you mind getting out of my way? Thank you. Ah, I see them. Yo, hello. You're with the Ahada family, right? Mind telling me where your boss is? Who the hell are you? Yeah, I think I'm just gonna spill my guts to some nobody off the street. I'm doing a favor for your patriarch, it's urgent. Madra? Uh, uh, Madarama? Hold up, what's the deal here? Hey, this guy's gonna be one of those Tojo goons, let's kick his ass out! Here we go again. Lol. Ow. Boom. <laughs> nice. Nice. Now then, tell me where Yahada is. You're not getting a goddamn thing out of me. 
This isn't a joke. I'm trying to stop a war with the Tojo clan here. Yeah, well, what's the point of being young if I can't fight when it really matters? Besides, I ain't got a clue where the boss is at. Same goes for pa the patriarch. The whole damn family's gone down the gutter fast. Guess someone else will just have to tell me where what I want to know. So, yeah, how does the own family doesn't even know where he is? Gotta keep looking. Oh, great. That's swell. Maybe you know something. Let's go home and tell you it's dangerous. Oh, come on, it's the Yahara family. You, do, you don't get to see real Yakuza every day. Let's go look. But what if they come after us? Did you just say something about the Yahara family? Beep! Please don't hurt me! <laughs> Calm down, I just want to know where they were. On the east side of town, way down at the end of uh, Chikawaze... Uh, I cannot pronounce that name. Got it, thanks. Dude, that was just about scared the soul out of me. You are not tough at all. <laughs> Anyway, I should try and visit other food places, I think. Ah, uh, yeah, I think it's okay. Don't have to worry about it. After all, I even have, uh, well, I do need to get more boosts eventually, so there is that. Also. Pretty sure that's... Wait. Oh, I'm going the opposite way! Ah, oh, for fuck's sakes. Get out of the way, dude! Free! Now, what am I doing? I'll take a stupid taxi. Get me. Very well, sir. Let's go. Alright, so somewhere around here should be more of those goons somewhere. Uh, nope, not it. There's a thing over here, don't care. Okay, thanks. <laughs> uh, anything, anything. I see some folks there that might know something. I'm going to ask these folks. You know, Nika Nika Saiga? Okay, I got a ton of comments blew me away. That was your Okay. Uh, okay. That's not helpful. Ah! Okay, maybe I'll go down here. Maybe there's something over here worth looking into, maybe. I'm gonna push everyone away. <laughs> Whoops, made someone fall. My bad. Hmm. I don't see anything here either. Where the hell could they be? It said that they're around here somewhere, right? Ah! <laughs> uh. Oh, for frick's sakes! Uh, don't make me kick all of you! God! Alright, I have no clue where they are right now. Maybe this guy knows something. Hello. Those, those fucking Yahada family punks walking around like they own the damn place. 
Did you see some around? Yeah, that's right. What's it to you? Where were they? Down at the south end of Don't tell me don't tell me you run with them too. Don't worry, I don't. Thanks for your help. So there's towards the south end. Okay. It should be around here then, right? I don't know anymore. Okay. If I keep going this way, should we be able to encounter them, maybe? Also, I can apparently walk, over, uh, rock, walk here. That's nice. Doesn't help me, though. Hmm. I don't see them anywhere. Game, I'm super confused. I'm super confused, game. Hmm. Nothing here either. All right. That guy might know something. I guess those were Yahada family men. They were wearing the usual getup, so I'm pretty sure. Where were they? Down at the south end. Okay, they keep saying the south end. I didn't see them earlier. Am I blind? Maybe I am. Hey, excuse me. Come through. Thank you. Excuse me. Coming through. Thank you. Excuse me. Coming through. Thank you. Ah. Here's the south end. Ah, sorry. This is the south end, all right. I don't see them. Huh? I mean, I suppose I could keep going here, but... Oh, never mind. Now I see him. Hey, what the shit? You're the asshole who came storming through our HQ yesterday. That's right. Now tell me where I can find Yahata. We need to talk. Ha! Huh, I knew you'd say that. Hey, you've been snooping around town looking for him. That's right. So, where is he? It's my turn for questions first. Why you gotta see him so bad? I made a promise to Madarama. I told him I wouldn't let... Uh, Ayama, uh, Ayama and the Tojo clan have the run of the place. That I'm protecting Nagasuga and the Yamagasa family. You saying you talked to the patriarch? I did. Oof. Then why should I believe you? You don't understand once I see Yahada. Sorry, but the boss got real hurt yesterday. Can't just let you waltz into our hideout. Guy like that could be working for the Tojo clan for all I know. A hideout, huh? So that's where I'll find Yahada. Not if I could help it. You ain't leaving here alive. Lol. Oh, he actually knows some bite. Oh no! Rush! He's running! Uh, lol. Attack, jump, attack, jump, drop kick? Wait, I could drop kick? <laughs> oh, nice. Like Very nice. Very nice. Uh, God damn it. Listen, you used to be Yakuza just like you. So I get you're trying to protect your boss, but I want what's best for this town, same as you. And the only way I could keep this town safe is by talking to Yahara and stopping the Tojo clan. So please, tell me where he is. 
Hideouts crawling with men all there to guard the boss. You said fun there, you're good as dead. Just tell me where it is and I'll handle it, even if I have to knock sense into every last one of them. That's so? Haha! <laughs> ain't many, ain't many in Nagasa with those kind of balls. Fine then, it's all on you. You'll find the boss's hideout around the middle of Suzuki Suzukake, Suzukake Lane. Okay. Hey, good luck. All of Nagasa's count on you. Won't let you down. What do you mean counting on me? You could have just let your folks know not to, you know, attack me. Like, what the fuck, man? Elsa. Oh, okay. So I have a marker this time. Joy. Let's go, I guess. Um, items. Oh, dear. I actually do need to get stuff from an item box. Hold on. There's a chance I might need an item, but I might need a few items for this, so. Excuse me. Uh, excuse me. I need a box. I need a box. Uh, do I need to also eat some food? Yes. Actually, no. I have a better idea. Um... Actually, no, I have a better idea. So first, I'm going to do this first. I'm gonna go get some items. I might need it. Uh. Okay. Next. Oops, I made someone fall. GG. Oops, sorry about that. Hey! Lol. Yeah! Nice. Nice stuff. Have I been to this one already? I think I have. Uh, so what's the other plant? So where's the other one then? I think it was there. Okay. Hello. Ooh. I take this one. Yeah, awesome. Okay. I wanted to find this place too, actually, so... Uh, that's a bit of a while away, though. Uh, whatever. It's worth it. It actually is worth it for me to do this bit right now. So I'm going to go run up here, run through here. I don't have enough photos for you. I'm sorry. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to go right up here. Oversized garbage, GG. At least there's not going to be any cars when I walk here. Or enemies, at least I hope so. But I need to do this one last bit. And I totally forgot, and I haven't been able to, like, find other places to eat. For, uh, to talk to Tatsuya about it. Now that I have, I think I should be good now. I hope. Because every time I talk to him, he gives me bonuses for when I eat food. Yeah. Make your man an eatery. Okay, follow me.
Hey. This is the space you're talking about. Let's give it a try. Itadakimasu. Itadakimasu. Yes, tasty indeed. Okay, since you're introducing me to so many great places, I'll give you the best advice I have. You know how many people say they're full, but they still have room for dessert? That's because the body is quite an amazing machine. When there's something you really want to eat, it makes a little room for it. You say the opposite as well. The fellow feels full and satisfied for some time after eating a delicious meal. Eating is a simple yet joyful experience. When people think about the food and the person that made it, the meal seems more satisfying. Okay. Use all the advice you've given me so far. God, I'll see what I can come up with. King of Gourmets. Lower the rate at which the second level health automatically decline. Oh my god, I actually do need that. This is up to you. Just try different things. Okay. Time for me to come up with a new dish based on all the info I glanced. You can now enjoy Tatsuya's new dish. He'll film a show to introduce it, but it's up to you to go find where it's being served. What? There's a food stall here that can't attract a younger crowd. I'll come, I'll come up with something that attracts customers who stop by it at night. Oh. So it has to be at night and it has to be at a food stall. Makes sense. Yeah. That makes sense. That would make sense. So now I have all the foodie bonuses. Yay. Awesome. So now I should be set. But uh final confrontation? I don't know if I could call it final real. I'm gonna go walk by this guy. I don't wanna deal with the No! Because he turned, you asshole! <laughs> Oh man. <laughs> just kick, just kick, just kick. Lol. And one of the guys escaped. Sadness. Oh well. Okay, so I just need to go here. And then we could do this. Just keep running, they won't notice a thing. Just gonna go talk to you then? So this is where Yahada's camping out. Who the hell are you? Doesn't matter, I hear I can find Yahada here. What? The captain? Er, I mean, I've never heard that name before. Sounds like I got the right place. Guess I'll just show myself in. Hey! You can't go in there! Shit. You got trouble, yeah. Guy in a trench coat. All right, let's go. Hello. And here we go up 
we go and boom yeah Huh? There's one more? Oh, hello. Whoa! Nice. Failure! <laughs> LOL! you please uh is there anything in here maybe oh, i can walk down here for some reason okay there's nothing here though so never mind Stupid QTEs! Ah! Come on! There you go. Alright, anyway. Oh, okay. Cure you, please. Come on, I press B this time. Yes, rub your mask all over the place. Yeah. Uh-oh. Stupid! Oh, come on! That I did that, and it was, you know. Anyway, let's head up. Oh, come on! Oh, 
it go. Oh, jeez. Oh, come on! I pressed Y this time, too! What?! Alright, for fuck's sakes, man. Lol. Okay. Now where do I go? Huh? Uh, so seriously, where do I go? Eh? I'm confused. <laughs> eh. What the hell? さあ、これは。なるほど。親父が考えそうなことや。<笑> だからお前らを守るためにこれを書き、俺に預けた。は、そうね。どうした。破り捨てないのか。俺らはマダラメの親父ば担ぐためにこの世界に入っただけやけん。山が作みがどげんだろうが、そげんこつはどうでもよか。親父の仇ば打つ。今の俺らにはそれしかなか。仇なら今目の前にいるが。俺も素原アホやなか。親父に手ばかけたとはあの青山っちゅう登場会のガキやろ。え本部破壊されたとき気づいたばい。あ。あ
今のお前らの戦力じゃ登場界と戦っても皆殺しになるだけだな,なんてやそれでも青山を殺すというのなら止めないだがその前に俺を倒せるか試してもらおうはあどういうことや<笑>一発だ一発で倒してやるオレは一度負けても二度目は必ず勝つ男ばい。喧嘩は一度負けてもよか。二度目に相手をボテクリコケシャよか話やけんな。ガキの理屈はいい。いいからかかってこい。This looks like a very good time to use weapons now. Oh, come on! Ah!、Uh. Oh, cool. Stop enemies from、uh, firearms from shooting and deliver a vicious strike. Nice. Oh. Kashiro! Kuna! Kuna! Ola to Kuno Santo no Shobuta! Taimani Kuchiba Samuya Naga! Kuna! あの爆発事故の直後だ体が言うことを聞かないのは当たり前だ分かったおそげんこつバッテンこんままやったら登場界の連中に不幸が乗っ取られる俺らがあの青山はやらないいかんとや絶対にさっきも言っただろう山笠組は解散させない待ってそれじゃ俺が潰す福岡にいる登場界の人間全員をなおおシェットあははんあオッケー Oh, here's the bastard. Kaicho Daiko Yamaga Sagumi Wagashira no Yahata Kara Denwa Haitimas Yahata Dato Ikita no Kano to go. Do Shosho, Kirimashoka. The Uchino Sodanka Kaze. Aoi Yamada. Ah. Tojo Kai to Steva Teuchi Suki a Moto Nai. Otak to a Tete Tikini Senso Sastemura. So de Ida to. Do you go to da? Yakin Senso was shut the you to te. さんなに近っぽ親父の怒り返しちゃうおお相場へこうなったら一気に勝負つけようやないか明日の夜博多の布団27番倉庫の前で土下座やよかややったら首洗って待っとけしっかり玉は取っちゃるけ終わったこれでよかったとやキリュウさんだあ向こうはなんと宣戦布告してきやがったご丁寧に場所まで指定してな明日の夜不当でやり合いたいそうだ
そんなガキの喧嘩じゃあるまいし大イそんな挑発乗る必要はありません罠の可能性もありますしここで逃げたら敵の思うつぼだろうが登場会が山笠組から逃げたって噂が広まったらそれこそ面倒だ<笑>たとえ山笠組から島を奪っても片木の連中を手なずけるまで時間がかかるす,すみません福岡に残ってる組の連中に号令をかけろそれと兄弟にも役に立ってもらうかあおぼいあおぼいあおぼいああおぼいああおぼいあおぼいあおぼいあおぼいあおぼいあおぼいあおぼいあおぼいあおぼいあおぼいあおぼいあおぼいあおぼいあおぼいあおぼいあおぼいあおぼいあおだが俺にもいろいろ片付けなきゃならないことがあるんでな青山に電話する前に話はしてくれた複雑な事情ってやつですかコンプリケーションズああ素性を隠して生きてきた俺に力を貸してくれた連中にああ迷惑をかけることはできないからな筋を通しておく必要があるいやけどまさかあんたがあの登場<笑>島の理由やったとはなしで親父も俺らに教えてくれんかったとやろうかわおまだらめ組長は守ってくれたんだ俺もそして大悟のこともうちの親父は人助けばっかしよったけ<笑>いいじゃ極道に向いとらん人間かもしれませんわお<笑>おかげで下についと俺らは貧乏くじばっかだえ<笑>まあ、俺はまだらめっていうのは他人を巻き込んで巻き込まれて常にそうやって生きていくしかない人間なのかなそうだいそしたらとりあえず俺らも明日の夜に備えて生き残ったお連中ばかき集めます桐生さんはどげんしますか約束の時間になったら不当へ行く現地でお茶を。Okay. <laughs> okay. It's only right. Nagajun san knows the truth and the impact this will have on him. I should go to the office, settle things. Oh boy. Always gotta be cleaned by the book. Anyway, it's night, so now. The... Hey, who are you? Come on, come on! Wait, this is the most revolutionary technological marvel of our time. Step right up, try your hand at IF8. IF8? Since when is the, the upgraded IF8? Uh, South Lancaster like for a limited time only. Oh, shoot. I actually do need to take care of this now. Well, since I'm going down there anyway, might as well. Going down in that direction anyway, so. Shoot, the IF8 is now available? No way. Also, hello. How you doing? Yeah. Sweet. Not that way. The other way. So he said the struggling uh food stall, right? <laughs> Hello. Into the river you go. Goodbye. <laughs> I always love that truck. Always love that truck. Eh. Oh, so Aha! It's so it's here. Hmm, there's Tatsia. Welcome to Tatsia's three minute kitchen hack. Today we're visiting the food stall mecca of Nagasugai uh, Fukuoka. 
This show is all about having celebrity chef Tatsuya help new and circling eateries across Japan by coming up with new dishes. In this episode, we're paying a visit to Tadagawa-san, owner of an old school stall that's on the outs with the young crowd. Uh, Tadagawa-san, we heard you were having trouble attracting younger customers. That's right. We mainly serve simple dishes for what Harata is famous, such as Misutake, but the younger crowd ain't interested. So maybe we could come up with a new dish that could attract young people. So you want to come up with a Misutake dish that young people could love too? Sounds like a tough challenge. Well, Tatsuya-san, let's hear what you came up with. I wait for it. I'm calling my new dish cream stew style Mizutaki Zosa Zo Z uh Zosai. Zosui? <laughs> I'm sorry if I'm butchering these, I'm sorry. You done it again, Tatsuya san. Could you tell us a little bit more about your new creation? Sure, it's a Mizutaki dish prepared like a stew with white sauce and plenty black pepper. You could also enjoy it carbonara style with an egg on top. It's sure to be a hit with the younger crowd, especially with the ladies. Sounds like a feast for the eyes and mouth. Sounds like a feast for the eyes and mouth. Gonna hand it to you, Tatsuya san. I never would have come up with anything like that. How'd you do it? When I first came here, I asked a certain person to recommend different eateries. I was quite inspired by all the new places I ate at. And there you have it, another hit dish courtesy of Tatsuya-san. Cream stew style Mizutaki Zosa is now available anytime at Tadagawa's food stall. We hope our viewers will come give it a try. Until next time, bon appetit! Yay! Okay. <laughs> That's the only one I could order though. Oh well. And I got focus. Yay, focus. Okay. Um. Oh. I was supposed to go all the way down. Whoops. Let me go try and do that. I didn't pick it up. What the frick? Honk, honk. Sorry. So, where is it? Care to play it only costs you 100,000 yen. Who in the right one pays that much for something they don't know anything about? No, wait! <laughs> Alright, awesome now, though. We'll never be able to run our test like this, Doctor. Epoch making adventures are seldom understood by lesser minds. Ah, you there! You talking about me? Would you like to play? Wait a second! I know you! You're, um. Er, who are you again? I'm afraid my, I've become rather forgetful in my old age. Sorry, but I don't know you. Hmm, oh, is that so? Well, my mistake. <laughs> it's just that you bear a striking resemblance to a man who aided me in the past. Fascinating. Well, I have to go. No, please wait. What do you want now? We're looking for someone to play test our newly developed game system. Wouldn't you please consider giving it a try? Sorry, I'm busy. Oh, don't be like that. This is Dr. Uh, Minamita, and I'm his assistant. This is the culmination of years of work. The newest version of my inner fighter arcade machine. Inner fighter. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We know what it is, and it's version 8 or something. No, it's right. Oh my god, it's a VR headset! Bruh! Right, should I be impressed? Yes. Okay. However, it's not quite finished yet. We're currently testing the micro transceiver remote communication functionality. It's the only way we get the taste that we haven't had much luck. We'd love for you to give it a try. Have some time, please. We need your help. Okay, I really do want to try it. Road battles in which you stroll through a town fighting enemies until you reach their boss. Oh. Beat the boss, you can earn an ability boost. I only have data from one town right now, but we're busy collecting data for others. Only needs a little more, you'll be able to play in other towns. So you'll have to be patient until then. Uh, is this a discount just for you? Uh, sure. Let's play the game. So let's the stage you'd like to play. Okay, so it's only one town. Let the road battle commence! Oh my god, it really is a VR headset. <laughs> amazing. Freaking amazing. Let's go.
Um... Lol. Okay. <laughs> this is funny. I like it. Okay. Cool. Great, they can do waves now. What? Hey, get up, get up, get up. Okay. Just stop being cheap. go man that was fun i see you won well congratulations you see an enhanced ability that should give us some excellent data ah oh, sweet come again soon i'll be waiting for your return cool that's the only thing that i have though so unfortunately there's they can't really do much else but that's cool though that's freaking gnarly. That's freaking gnarly. All right. Let's go over here. Let's tell our boss the news. Let's tell the boss the unfortunate news that we can't work for him anymore. Wow! Rude! Alright, let's do this. Boom! Boom! There you go. Sweet. Nope, let's avoid that guy. <laughs> Alright. How could Jesus send give me another lease on life? I can't let anything happen to him. Time to settle things here. In before he's not there. Because of course he wouldn't be. Oh no, he is here. <laughs> これ以上迷惑はかけられません。どげんしたと。社長はご存知ですよね。
俺が偽名を使っていること。What? 俺はかつて、登場会という組織に所属していた極道でした。その後足を洗い、沖縄に渡って養護施設を経営していました。それから分け合って福岡に流れ着いて、ここのお世話になることになりました。しかし今この福岡の地で登場会と山笠組の間で戦争が行われようとしていますなんてや俺はその戦争を何としても止める必要があるんです鈴木さんどんな結果になろうとも俺がこの会社の人間であることが割れてしまえばご迷惑をかけることになるでしょうですからその前に会社を辞めようとそげんことやったか勝手を言って申し訳ございません許さんねえ俺はそげんこと許可できんえですが社長だってくさ鈴木さんは自分の行動で会社に迷惑がかかると思うとけん退職するつもりなんやろそうですやけんそれが思い違いたい会社ば辞める必要なんてなか鈴木さんはうちの社員ばい俺はうちの社員には正々堂々自分がやるべきやと思うた言葉やってもらいたか社長あんたがただもんやないっちゅうことはずっと前から感づいとったよやけんね俺はこげん日が来るんじゃなかかとずっと思うとったばい。俺だって経営者の端くればい。納得いかん理由で社員ば簡単に切るとか、絶対にやらんけん。細かかことは聞かん。何があっても戻ってき。うちの社員として。ああ。よかね。ああ。中島さん。さあ、そう,そうと決まったら、大事な仕事に取り掛かる前に。やり残した言葉済ませとかんとはいそれからその戦争を止めに行くときは会社の<笑>ああ俺に声ばかけて Can I take the car? Can I take my car though? <笑><笑>よかよかあー、oh、boy Maybe I should take care of that racing thing Let's see That's been good to me I got to stop this war for their sake too And go see the chief. So, yeah, this is the point of no return in the chapter, at least. So, um, you know what? Maybe I can try and do the, the thing. Let me see here. Do -do 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 -do. Veterans approach. I climb from the highway rest of the area. I'm on the way. Uh, might have tagged along that way you can teach me how to deal with more clients. It's obviously knows where I'm going. Hop into studying for your class too. But both Wadis and Muramatsu Mar seem pretty sure I could pass now, so they gave me their okay. They yeah, really? Yeah, I mean, Ace of Practice test. I've been studying my butt off. Help me, uh. Uh. Here, here, Akasan. Hmm, I'd say you've been making an admirable effort. Why not take him with you, Suzuki-san? He does need more time in the field. I'm not sure he'd benefit from this kind of request. <laughs> yada 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 yada. Lol. Oh well. He does no info about the racers anyway. Uh, you can do this. At least he's not trying to dissuade me by before. Any cool Yoshi Yoshimi? I guess that means today you'll be facing... Hey guys! Hey- oh sorry. Hey guys! Which one of you big boys is Mr. Suzuki from Nagasaki Taxi? There he is, the second in command of the Four Kings, Gentle Nakamura. What's so gentle about him? Beats me, he's a true veteran, oldest one on the team. He's the last original Endeavor Killer too, being with them from the start. Don't let his age fool you, he's fast as lightning and then some, not to mention he's racked up tons of wisdom and experience behind the wheel. You're pretty clued up for a youngster. Not bad, Mr. Suzuki. Actually, Mr. Suzuki's this right guy right here. 
Ah, so you're the man. You sure are in the right place, truth be told. I thought you'd be a little less in the years. They mix two of us. Oh, don't mistake thee for one of those doddering old seniors you'd see sput puttering around. When it comes to driving, experience trumps above all else. I've refined my skill over decades, maturing them like fine wine. Now I hear you're ready best of two the four kings, is that correct? That is. Well, from where I'm standing, those guys might as well be fresh out of driving school. Just because you know how to hold the wheel and step on the gas doesn't mean you know how to race. Yada yada yada. Okay, time to beat up the veteran. Let's go. Uh, wait. No, that that's not what I meant. Sorry! Don't take that out of context, please. God damn! <laughs> anyway, I think I have the racing part pretty much set. It's not that hard. I only need to trigger the the secret heat action right at the final lap. That's all I need to do. So, you know, this part, I can't do this yet. But I could do this. And then you got this asshole. So, yeah, that happens. I'm not worried, though. Da, da, da. Whoa! LOL! GG. Ah, this is hard. Mm. Yes, there's drifting. There's a drifting boost just like Mario Kart. Yep. Yep. Ow, who the f Come on, Suzuki. You bastard, come back here. Lol. Lol. There you go. Dun, dun, dun. Ah, you son of a bitch! Now I do it. Yeah, let's go. We <laughs> explosive acceleration. Bingo, see? Not that hard. Got them. <laughs> nice. You did it, Suzuki-san. That's nearly all of Four Kings. There's only one left, their leader. How could this be? I've been racing for decades, doggone it! No, I must... I suppose this turn of events is entirely uncalled for. I must say, Nagajima must have found himself a diamond in the rough. What? How do you know our boss? How? Why, he's the original... WHAT THE FUCK?! The man started this whole gang over 20 years ago. What the fuck? What? Wait, you're telling me the chief started devil killers? You be joking. He's just an old geezer. No offense. We were all a lot younger 20 years ago. Your boss was a real speed demon back then. The fastest in Fukuoka and maybe even all of Kyushu. That's just... No, my brain can't handle this. Then... Tell me why a legendary god of street racing would quit 
just to start driving taxis around. Sure, guess as good as mine, young man. Wait, are you an original member of the team? Surely you must know something. Ah, back then I was just a slowpoke. I never really got to talk to the man. So I'm glad I stuck with it. I made it through to made it to the Four Kings after all. It took me long enough. And now I go losing to a taxi driver. Perhaps my age has finally caught up with me. Some race I am, eh? What the fuck? Okay. I'm back. Hey there, I hear you were out showing Kiyokawa kun the ropes today, huh? No, today I was up against the devil killers. Oh, that thing you were doing for the local police? Don't get any accidents, you hear? Chief, I need to ask you something. Hmm? And what's that? Is it true you were one you were the one that founded the Devil Killers? Where did you hear that? From gentle from gentle Nakamura, the guy I just raced. <sighs> looks like the cat's out of the bag. I was thinking to have a sit down with a yeah, one of these days. Might as well be now. When you're young, you have time to do whatever your heart desires. For me, that was cars. I loved them more than anything. Well, just about. Before I knew it, there was a whole bunch of us motorheads to decor. So I decided to form the Devil Killers. We'd race day and night trying to shave seconds, seconds off our best times. We all knew the dangers of racing on the highway, but we were careful. We checked down the best spots, found out when there was the least traffic. We even posted lookouts with walkie-talkies. We were a close-knit bunch. It wasn't long before we gained a reputation as the fastest boys in town. My devil killer days, that was the prime of my life. Can you imagine? This old gnarled stump of a tree once had leaves up top. <laughs> Anyhow, as with anything, time was never on our side. With each passing generation, the glue that held the crew together seemed to be dissolving and now look at them. They drive like reckless maniacs, no regard for safety whatsoever. Then they brought gambling on board. When it comes down to it, there ain't hardly nothing left of the division I once had. Only greed and ill rem gain remain. People shouldn't have to suffer because of it. Racing was about the thrill, not... Not this. Listen up, Suzuki-san. There's something I want to ask you. Yeah? I want you to break up the Devil Killers. Can you do that for me? Ooh. That your phone? Better see who it is. Sorry, one moment. Hello? What up, Suzuki-san? Who is this? The last of the four kings. Technically, the fifth to lead the Devil Killers. Long story short, I'm Devil Takamura. How'd you get this number? Ha! Wouldn't you like to know? What is it that you want? Hmm, see... You've been preying on my teammates lately. And thanks to a taxi driver of all people, they've been on a losing streak. It'd be bad if Gerward got around, so someone's gonna nip that in the bud. I don't see why. Let the tr people know the truth. Yeah, I don't think so. Our livelihood depends on our rep. Take that away, you take away our business. Get me? That's what you get for basing your business on extortion. Psh! Say what you'd like. Either way, we need to get back our good name. I'm thinking on, like, a major scale, so let's hold a race with spectators and all. How about it? Me against you. Or are you afraid to get your ass handed to you? No, I refuse to be part of a circus act. You should wait to hear my offer. I'm assuming Nakajima, wimp that he is, asked you to dismantle the devil killers. Am I right? Thought so. What, are you going to say you'll disband the devil killers if I beat you to a race? That's exactly what I'm saying. Whoever rules the road makes the rules. In other words, the fastest guy calls the shots. That's always been our way. Fine, you'll get your race. And just so you know, I don't take kindly to people who go back on their word. Of course, we we'll wouldn't expect you to, but just so you know, there's a reason I'm in charge of the Devil Killers. You better be prepared, old man. Oh shit. So, this devil Takamura says he'll break up the team if you win? That's long and short of it. So the bad seeds I sowed back when they when they have 
So the bad seeds I sowed way back when have sprouted into weeds, hanging up the new generation. I'm ashamed. Don't be so hard on yourself, but if I do have to ask, are you really okay as to having such a big part of your past gone for good? I don't mind. The ones I care about the most are all right here beside with me. Ain't that right, Wada-chan? You bet, leader. Wada? Don't tell me you were a devil killer too! Yeah, as some of the older drivers. Wow, because that means I'm part of an elite team here. That's bitchin'. From what I hear, Suzuki-san, that devil Takamura's as quick as they come. Don't go out there without a plan. I'll keep that in mind. Uh, let's get back at it. Before that, can I ask for one thing? Hmm? Why did you leave street racing and the devil killers? They meant everything to you, didn't they? Well, I think you ought to leave it there, Suzuki-san. I'm sure you have some things in your life you'd rather keep close to your chest now. Sorry, that was rude of me. No, you were just curious. I should be the one apologizing. Alright, why don't we all just drive safely, give it our best, leave the heavy stuff behind. Sounds like a plan to me! Okay. Uh, I won't go down easy. Oh boy. Oh boy, oh boy. It's too bad I can't upgrade my car any further than this. I could surely try. Yeah, I can't do any more. Can't, I can't do any more. Oh, never mind. <laughs> Semi racing. Handling suffers, though. I don't like this, so I'd rather go for this instead. Okay. All right, let's do this. One more race. Let's go. The final battle. This is the stage being set. Yada, yada, yada. Let's do this. <laughs> Nod. Nod. Nothing important. I'll be going now. All right, drive safe. Who been on today? Devil Takamura, duh. Being a guy is being Takamura. Kinda want to learn the cabbie, I mean. Yada yada yada, there he is. So you're Suzuki, I presume. Yeah, you're Devil Takamura. One and only. If you win, well hey, we still have time in the limelight. Gotta appreciate that, you know. Well, I hang out on every moment, they're even streaming us online. It's not often a taxi driver gets like you gets his 15 minutes of fame. Yeah, so what there is. Don't you have any respect for your founder? You talking about that Nakajima guy? Who cares about that old has-been? He's all washed up now. Work to save money, fix up your car, racing solely to improve your time? So that's like shit my granddad say. As you can see, I ain't new to this game because of my genius. This street racing shit is our cash cow. Respect the image because of how hard the founders work to rebuild it, and this is how you repay them? Fuck yeah, dude, as long as the devil killers keep breaking the money, what's the problem? Wow. This ain't, that part ain't going to change. Sorry, this is sky the limit, you know? This shit has to be honored an entrepreneur like these doing them all a favor. Ha 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 ha. Wow. Yeah, yeah. I earned my spot as fifth leader of the Devil Coast with being the fastest fucking driver, period. Okay. Like that's gonna do, Jack. Aha! Okay. As long as I take fast racing lines, I should be okay. Oh my god, that boost though? That's okay. I'm not panicking yet. Lol. 
If he start, if he boosts, then I'm going to boost too. I'm just gonna wait for that. Vegeta. But yeah, these guys got rubber banding AI, so it's kind of like lull. Ah, what the fuck, dude? Ow. Da, 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 da. The hairpin turns are the really worst part about all this. Yeah, do not. Mm. Ah, shoot. Messed that up. Did he just stop? Nice. <laughs> I missed the trigger and I totally almost I almost screwed that up. I missed the trigger and all that. <sighs> I was literally oh my god. <laughs> no way the taxi driver he actually did it. That's a mad me, D Devil Takamura! What could possibly happen next? Oh, fuck! Well, I guess congratulations are in order. I don't need your fanfare. What I want is crew. What I want is your crew to break up. That was your end of the bargain. All right, everyone, listen up. Hey, you can't be serious. So you don't need to be keeping such silly promise. You don't need some reason break break up. Whatever gave you that idea? Excuse me. All these people watching, this is the perfect chance to show what happens when you get on the Devil Killer's bad side. Give this bastard a thrashing. With pleasure, gonna get me some payback. I'm generally not one to resort to violence when I last duty calls. Sorry, Mrs. Suzuki, I'm afraid you'll have to take your medicine like a man. And isn't what you agreed on. What happened to the fastest guy calling the shots? Hmm? All that? See, that's been an uh, there's been an update. It's the strongest guy who calls the shots now. Me, you missed the memo. Wow! You guys are assholes! Don't keep your promises for Jack. You know what? Fine. So be it. Oh my god, I keep fucking up all those inputs. God. Ah. All right, who's left? We So, I'm the fastest and the strongest, so... Yo, we're getting our asses out of here! You'll get yours soon enough, man. I'll make sure of it. Hold up! Who are you? What a pitiful sight. I never thought the legendary devil killers could sink so low. You ought to be ashamed! Hey, isn't that... Who? Seriously, you don't know? That guy's the biggest name racing here in Fukuoka. No way. Onix... Onisaka-san? Who's this character all of a sudden? <laughs> Shoot, I... I didn't know you were going to be here! You started acting up on this scale, where it's going to reach me? 
uh, well, you see, this is all the taxi driver's fault. He picked a fight with us, so we, uh, don't even bother. I've been doing my own research. I heard you were throwing your weight around and only gave you a pass because you had clout with the community. But now that's all ancient history. Yeah, what's your point? My point? Do I really need to restate how bad this taxi driver beat you to a pulp? He's top dog now, so abiding by our rules. I'm ordering you to break up the devil killers. But that wouldn't mean devil killers are pretty much done for at this point. What's well, with Onasaka giving the order? One man really got that kind of pull? Of course he does. He's pretty much the law in racing circles. Your team here is hereby disbanded. Never to use the devil killer's name again. Any objections? No. Then get your ass off the road! You heard the man. So you're Suzuki, huh? I'm Onisaka. I'm look at, I look after the young guns around here. Thank you for intervening. No need to thank me. You're the one who beat Takamura. That's all I needed to see. But without you, they, they wouldn't have honored the agreement. So I appreciate you showing up. So down there, pal. You don't think I came all this way just to help you get rid of a few punks, do you? Why then? Well, you were for Nakajima, right? Yeah, I do. And I'm assuming he wanted you to raise the devil killers into submission, yeah? Break him up that way? Ultimately, yes. Mm-hmm. Yeah, they ain't gonna fly with me. Why not? Because he's a coward. People chicken out of a challenge have no say in racing matters. What do you mean by that? 20 years ago, the two of us were rivals. Nakajima, the undisputed champion, and me, the runner-up. But no matter how many times I raced him, he always won out in the end. I lost him countless times. Then one day he decided, I decided enough when it was enough. I took a year off to travel the country, taking on as many other racers as I could. Before I left, I made Nakajima swear not to lose to anyone. That way I'd still be taking on Fukuoka's best when I got back. When I returned, I found out he vanished from the streets. Gone, just like that. Promises be damned. It demoralized me, Suzuki-san. An entire year completely down the drain with no explanation whatsoever. All that time with no real buddy to race? What a fucking way to leave an old friend behind. I'm sure Nakajima had his reasons. He's not the kind of guy to break his word. You think I don't know that? <sighs> I know he must have some kind of situation. That still doesn't keep me from wanting that race. He owes me. I'll never forget the thrill I, go I got going up against him. I can't. So I won't give up on street racing until I get another taste of it. My pride won't let me. Go back and tell that boss of yours I've been waiting. Dad, whenever he feels like honoring his promise, I'll be behind the wheel. Same place I've been for 20 years. Oh, shit. Well, at least the killers are taken care of, so I don't have to worry about that anymore. We're not finishing this store. <laughs> Onisaka, huh? Chief, I know you're not the kind who goes back on his word. What happened all those years ago? It was 20 years ago, about a month after Onisaka left. I got in an accident. An accident? I wasn't driving dangerously or anything. We were just coming home from shopping. I was under the speed limit, no distractions. I couldn't say the same for the other car. A street racer smashed into us. Oh. Shit. Came around the corner at high speed and lost control. He was completely at fault. Did you get hurt? No. It wasn't that. Came away with just scratches. But my wife sitting beside me wasn't as lucky. She hit her head, I guess. There were not many external injuries, but she fell into... Coma. We should have been angry with the guy who did that to my wife. I couldn't summon up any rage. He was a street racer just like me. That's when I realized it could have been... It could have just as easily been me causing a crash like that. Just one little mistake could end up costing an innocent person their life. When I got to thinking, I couldn't just go back to putting that pedal to the metal like I used to. I was too scared. So you could street racing at that point. Yeah. Now, of course, I remember what I promised Onisaka, but I knew I couldn't keep it. Who could after what happened? After the accident, my wife never regained consciousness again. She was alive, but never woke up. Strange, ain't it? I lived life on the edge, but I was still standing. My wife never took a risk in her life, and it ended up like that. I just couldn't accept it. I whispered her name into your ear over and over, day in and day out. Thinking one day, maybe she'd open her eyes and sit up like nothing ever happened. But that ain't, that ain't how life works. 
No matter how much I loved her or prayed for her to come back, she wouldn't wake up. We are all pretty powerless when it, com when it comes down to it. All I could do was keep hoping she'd recover and work to pay her hospital bills, but even that was beyond me. Oh. I used to be a day laborer, but I poured all my earnings to my ride. I know savings no steady job. But I didn't do something I'd fall behind with medical bills, so I had to find work. That's when you turn to taxi driving. Yeah. Driving was all that I could do, besides all I really wanted was, what? I just wanted to have her sit next to me again. She didn't drive herself, but she loved it when I took her for a spin. So I remember her in the passenger seat laughing, smiling away. If she came out of that coma, I wanted to be ready to take her on another ride. I reckoned that would make her happy. Then I figured after that accident, she'd be too scared to do that again. I thought if I became a taxi driver and learned safe driving, maybe she'd be okay with it. Maybe we could go back to the old times, just the two of us riding in the wind. But a year ago, she finally lost the battle. Sorry, I had no idea. You're looking at me right now as a miserable wreck of a man who can't even wear his own wedding ring because it hurts too much to remember. I couldn't save the one I loved. I broke the promise I made to my rival. I'm a no good, worthless wretch. That's not true. You helped me out when I was in a bad place. I'm thankful for that. I have nothing but respect for you. So please, don't talk your about yourself that way. If Onisaka knew about this, I'm sure he'd forgive you for going back on your word. You still haven't told him about the accident, right? No. I didn't want to use my wife as an excuse, and I just couldn't face up to him. I'm a former racer myself, so I know exactly how he feels. I know how much he wants that rematch. Yeah, but... If I told him about the accident, sure, he'd probably let it slide. But thinking about what that... But think about what that do to him. Cars have been his life. I don't want to ruin that for him. I don't want to tell him... I don't think telling him is a good idea. So you want Onus to keep on racing then? I used to want that. I figured with me off the road, he might as well do enough racing for the both of us. But now I don't know. He's getting old. I don't want him chained up to this life until it's too late. One day he'll push it too far. And when he bows out, I want it to be at the right time. I don't want him to end up like me. Now, if someone were to beat him in the race, maybe that'd give him what he needs to lay his pride down. I'll challenge on the second and put an end to his career. What? Back when I lost, you gave me a place and a purpose, yada yada yada. Taking all the devil codes and now I'm the fastest in Fukuoka, just like you were. If I turn to step on race in your stead, you leave this to me. Okay. Jeez, I'm never going to finish this chapter, am I? I thought I was going to finish this chapter today, but... Oh, I'm too invested in this. I'm way too invested in anything for a friend. Ah, wait, crap! Oh, well, that's okay. Right in front of the office, didn't take me long then. Oh, well. I was going to upgrade my car a little bit more, but I guess I don't need to. Go see the client. Oh, hi there, Wadasan. Hi there yourself. On break right now? You could say that. I'll see you around, I guess. What? What's going on here? He's a devil killer, though. Former. It's me, by the way. Huh? I'm the one who requested you. What? You're the client? Do you want me to drive you home again? No. Don't you remember what the chief said when you first got hired? I'm the most senior driver. He wanted me to give you some driving tips. And you have. They come in real handy. Well, I've got one more piece of advice for you. What about? Today, I want, I want to tell you about Onisaka. You're kidding. Chief needs you to race him, right? Something like that. Then I might as well be of help. You used to be a street racer yourself, didn't you? Oh, you bet. That was three years ago. Onisaka used to be one of the three musketeers, you know. Let me guess, the predecessors to the four kings. You're sharp. The top three racers in Fukuoka at the time took on that name from an old French novel. And when you know it, our chief was the fastest of them. Biggest speed demon in all of Fukuoka. You see, people used to call him Athos, the eldest and most fatherly musketeer. Onosaka was third in rank, he went by the name Porthos. But Onosaka was a tenacious one, at times get fa getting faster and faster. 
When he got back from his travels, he was at the top of his game. If the chief hadn't already quit, Onosaka probably could have taken him. So that's how it was. Yep. Onosaka's the kind of guy who would do anything just to shave a millisecond off his race time. 20 years have passed, but I bet he's still in peak condition. In fact, if he's stuck, stuck with all these years, he might be even faster yet. That's something to consider. I trust you, so for all they know, you're on the job, right? That's true. You should use the time to get some practice. You'll need to train if you want to beat Onosaka. And I will go doing that? How about you and me hit the highway? What? You want to race? Why not? If you think you're ready to take on Onosaka, you ought to have no trouble beating me. You haven't raced in years, right? Hey, I'm behind the wheel every day. I still got the thunder in my veins. But driving a taxi isn't really the same thing. And you know I'm one to talk, but you're not exact. But you're not as young as you used to be. Nonsense, I'm plenty young. Hmm. So if Nakajuna-san was the head musketeer and Onosaka was the third in line, made the second fastest was... You. Alright. I'd be honored to race you, Wada-san. That's the spirit. We should know I'm not your average street racer. Be ready for a challenge. Oh boy. Oh boy, here we go. Use a water. Oh god, it's advanced, all advanced all the way. No, get ahead of me. By the way, there's no backdraft mechanic to worry about. Don't worry about. So, it's fine. Ah, you suck, man! Oh my god. He actually has a significant lead now. Uh-oh. Mm. Okay. I got this. I got this. Dun -dun -dun -dun. Oh. Ah. Oh, I got this. I Okay. Do do. Ah! Masiria no kimochi o omoi dashite kita yo. Nani? Ah, oh, shit. What the frick? Ah, oh, fuck. Dude, this is actually bad. Oh, come on! Mm. Oh. Alright, I got this, I got this, I got this. This is already the second lap, so I gotta be prepared. <laughs> I was getting very dicey there. Yikes. Yikes. 
<laughs> Man, you got me. You're pretty quick, all right. I think you got what it takes to give Onus like a run for his money. I mean, that'd be a street racer anymore. We were still one hell of a driver, fitting for a former musketeer, I'd say. Uh, me a musketeer? No, 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 you got all that wrong. You really weren't a musketeer? Nope. I wasn't even close to their level. I guess you could call me a Aragatan of the group, a sworn ally of the three musketeers. They are good, John. Yeah, they are good, you, you do know what that is, yes? No, sorry, I guess you're talking about the Three Musketeers book, but I've never read it. You haven't? Ah, oh, he's the main character who goes on the adventures with the Three Musketeers. Huh? I'll be sure to read it when I get the chance. Ah, oh, ain't that big of a deal. How come you're so fast now if you weren't a Musketeer? I'll tell you when we're back in the office. We better go or haraka will have a fit. Right. <clears throat> You know that me and several other older drivers at the company were street racers, right? Hey. Yeah. After Nakajima Sen went off the radar, racing lost its spark for me. I decided to quit like he did. I wanted to find a job, but driving was all I, well, all I knew. I ran into one brick wall after another, thinking there wasn't anything out there for me. That's when Nakajima Sen showed up out of the blue, and he's not there in the seat right now. He said he'd start, he started a taxi company and wanted me to come on board. So he, so he took you in just like that. Yep. It was the last thing I expected. At the time, I wondered why he wanted to run the taxi company. But since he was asking me for help, I just went along with it. Now that I think about it, though, it was him who helped me. He was barely scraping by on his own, but he still took me in whenever I had nowhere to go. <laughs> I always looked down on taxi drivers, but when I gave it a shot myself, I found out how hard it really is. As a street racer, I was free to drive however I like. But with passengers on board, you're always worried you're going to mess up. One old mistake could put others in danger. That's the first time I realized the gravity of people putting their lives in your hands. But that makes it all the more rewarding when passengers thank me. Winning a race is nothing compared to that feeling. So I made myself a promise. As long as there's someone in my cab, I will never cause an accident or break a traffic law. And I managed to keep that promise all these years. Oh well, hey, that's no small feat. <laughs> I guess, even now. When I'm taking passengers somewhere, I'm more focused and nervous than when I was racing. You say every passenger I carried has been a battle for me. A battle against myself, of course. Battle against yourself. Damn, that sounds heavy. Well put, Mwada. So you battle against yourself every day, and that's the secret to your technique? Eh <laughs> I guess you could say that. I feel like I'm making a bigger deal out of it than I should, though. Doesn't suit me, huh? No. In fact, I think it suits you just fine. You know, that just fired me up. Otosan, I'm going to show you how great a driver I could be, too. I'll try sharpening up my act as well. Couldn't hurt, right? You bet. We shall give our this job our best. We owe it to the chief. And the passengers who depend on us. Now, boys, let's get back to work. Yay. Everyone has a history, don't we? Yep. Well, I am definitely not finishing this chapter. <laughs> uh I have to finish this bit. I have to. I can't let this slide. Tuning to the freaking max. Tires, turbo, chassis, all tornado. Eh, we're keeping that. Aqua blue. Aww, I can now see one of the kids are doing okay. Sweet! Yeah, we're going with machine gun kiss now. <laughs> because, yeah, final battle and all that. Last bit of racing! Seventy Onakasan, but he's the chief out of all people. I'll be taking that job. I'm not sure that's a good idea. Normally I agree, but the chief is out right now. Might as well let him do it, Hirakasan. True, it isn't like we have another option. Okay then, Suzuki-san, he's all yours. Thanks for volunteering. No problem. It's been a long uphill battle since you first ran into the Devil Killers, but once you do this, it'll be all over at last. Make sure you win so Onasaki can finally get some peace of mind. Be careful out there. We all know you got what it takes. Yeah! Carve out- Wow. 
<laughs> Everyone's talking to me. Have a nice trip. I have no idea what's going on. Lol. Did I keep you waiting? Hey, I asked for Nakajima, not you. I thought you wanted the thrill of going up against the top racer in Fukuoka. No need to bother Nakajima Sam if that's what you're looking for. I'm your man. <laughs> so funny. Sorry, it just seems you're letting the fact that you took down the Devil Killers go to your head. What are you implying? I'm saying you can't live up to Nakajima's legacy. Saw you raced Takamura. You're nowhere near Nakajima's level. Taking you on would be like an arm wrestling a baby. Not that I'd suggest that, but you get the picture. You got some weak ass odds, my friend. Might as well head on back in that taxi of yours. Odds aren't what important. As long as there's a chance, I'll take it. What? I can see you're letting the past hold you back. I'm here to change that. Interesting. No wonder Nagajia hired you on. Fine, you'll get your shot, but fair warning. I've got 20 years of pure rage in this beating heart of mine. I'm taking it out on you. Okay. So what is this, like, five star now? Oh. Three laps?! Oh, shit. That's actually... Uh-oh. I can't crash, then. If I hit a car even once, I think this might actually be trouble for me. Now, now, Lol. Just remember, tight racing lines, that's what's important here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Okay. I'll just save the boost for when I actually need it. Okay. I got this. I got this. He's pretty fast, like, up... Right up in here. Hey, jackass! Would you mind moving? Oh, 
Da, 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 da. Okay. Do, 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 do. Tight racing lines, tight racing lines. Draft. Alright, that's okay. I slowed down enough that I should be able to get this. Okay. If he boosts up against me again, that's where I'm going to start boosting. Oh, holy cannoli! <laughs> now! Yeah, let's do this! We. Axel Zenkai! Go! <laughs> Man. <laughs> you really did it, huh? You beat me. I suppose I did. <laughs> this, this is all I've been looking for. I feel like I'm alive again. I've been waiting so long just to feel it one more time. It did good, Suzuki-san. Thank you. Also, it's like racing against the man himself. Guy I've been chasing all these years. I'm sorry, on Onizaka. Oh, crap. Hold on a second.
Whoops, sorry about that. I'm back. <laughs> but yeah, everything resolved. Yay! I managed to win somehow. Yay. I haven't seen the chief around, but I'm sure he'll be happy to hear what I went down. It was over at the race. Let's just say the three musketeers had a happy reunion. Hey. Hell yeah. I don't believe this. What not to believe? Yada yada yada. Uh, why did they invite me out too? That's all you're worried about, lol. <laughs> you didn't leave them main character out. <laughs> They'll be here any minute now. Oh, uh, alright then. Let me get a drink. This will be the blast. Hey, don't. Hey, kiddo, don't you? Did you have something to tell Suzuki son? But, oh, you see, I want to spit it out. I, I passed my class too. Yay. <laughs> okay. So also, I totally forgot to record the VOD. Oops. I might as well just extract that out of Twitch later. Hey. Any yada yada. Yeah. No, you're supposed to get me a gift. Lol. Attention. I guess I can taxi. I got drinking. Who's up for it? <laughs> I could, I could get a bit crazy when I drank. What if I end up shattering those glasses of yours? Um, what? <laughs> Party! And say your Faroque is fast. Let's get a move on. <laughs> Lol. I'm lucky to have them as friends. Aww. Anywho. I'm gone. Thank you for watching. This has been Iron Flip. If you like what you see, do follow me here. Twitch, YouTubes, everywhere else that I can think of on my, uh, um, I, uh, you know, link tree. And, uh, I'll finish this chapter and get on to the next one or next part or whatever. I don't know. Hey, you. Thank you for watching. Bye.